But you know, again, there is a saying, uh, uh, African saying, that uh, if you see a disabled person threatening to beat you, <laughs> he or she is stepping on something. Yes, yes, yes. So, Your Excellency, we, 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 we are disappointed. In fact, uh, the country government is really very, very disappointed and embarrassed by this action. Hence, the appointment of this very esteemed commissioner of inquiry. Mm -hmm. yes, this, yes, this is yes. unlike <laughs> Zimbabwe to, to experience that. And you can see some people are bragging about it. Mm -hmm. yes. Because it achieved what they wanted it yes. to achieve. I, 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 look, I'm not a prophet, but uh, there's something fishy. Are you saying that these, um, I mean, the account you are giving of snipers uh, would be targeting ordinary people? That the uh, I mean, material that you're putting yes. on? That but it would not. If we had a situation where members of security forces here, the police and the army, have been attacked by ordinary Zimbabweans, mm. uh, they are like shorted by ordinary Zimbabweans. Your Excellency Chair. And the Honorable Commissioner, Professor Madhu. In military terms, in fact, in guerrilla warfare, if you want to hit the status quo, you must target civilians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was a gorilla myself for 15 years. <laughs> make the country ungovernable. You don't fight soldiers fight yes. to, to take over, to win, to liberate your country. That, that's, that's my humble conclusion, submission on such issues. Because if, uh, just to finish my, my professor, if the intention was to fight soldiers, or to shoot at soldiers, perhaps they wouldn't be in this condition. From what you've now answered, it would mean that the security forces would be safe from this kind of force that wants to destabilize. We've had um, evidence also, some speculation coming from others, saying, in fact, uh, ZANU PF, that's what has been said to this commission, actually created the situation. They wanted to, you know, they also targeted civilians, and then so that you get dead bodies and then you get the army military to get involved. You are saying that now having terrorists, from what you are now saying that this force will also avoid the police and the army and then target the civilians. Are you seeing how difficult it is now from that perspective for us? Because it's coming, at least from your side, it would be the opposition that would have the snipers to create that. Now the opposition says no. Actually, it's that PF that is creating uh, so in the center we have civilians, whichever theory we take. I mean, that logic doesn't follow for this. Through your share. <laughs> we are in power. Mm, yes. We are yes. paused with uh, running the con this country. With the mandate to run. Even before the results, it was clear that uh, we're going to win the league. Yes. yes. You're one of the players, you knew what was happening. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. yes. <laughs> and and, and, and uh, I have a lot of uh, regard for you, you know. <laughs> but let's not bring 
theories to reality. Yes, yes. yes. Why would Zanubi have shoot three? Mm. To achieve what? Yes. Mm. And in a rare way, we have always uh, accepted defeat. Yes. yes. And come, Mr. Chamisa says that uh, he knew he had lost parliamentary elections. In, in, on that video, on that uh, recording, it defeats any logic. This was a predetermined action which was uh, clearly planned. People were told how they were going to be resourced, which streets they were going to take. That is true. There were leaders that were leading that. that uh, I mean, this is. Yes. I mean, <laughs> the likes of honestly, the honestly, let's look after our country as sisters and brothers. Yes. 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 But to try and impress the world through things that uh, create the suffering of our people. That's not what we fought for. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Why, 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 after 40, 30, 80 years, would we start uh, shooting at our people? Especially when the, the results are being, are being counted. I was the chairman of JOC. And the message at every meeting was that these elections should be peaceful. Yes. yes. There shouldn't very be true. any loss of blood. Yes. And this was from the general. Yes. yes. Yeah. I think Dr. Bobia says I close on that. That's exactly where the problem is. For me, I think if I were to follow your words, why would we do it to achieve what? Yes. Yesterday, the testimonies we got, you may have been following, if you listen to Honorable Tendai before. Mm. He exactly said that he gave a long history of the opposition movement in mm. the country. Mm. And this message would actually end in the same words. Why would the opposition do that? <coughs> what for? That's where the complexity I hope you are appreciating it. I'm not saying you give an answer. But if you look at it, you have very good reasons for saying, I know you cannot do it. And why would you do it? And then we got this long historical account showing, in fact, to use the words of uh, Honorable Tendai, mm. we are the victims. Mm. We can never do it. Mm. So what the commission has would be these two views. One that says, Zanu can never do it. It's a ruling party. Mm -hmm. It wants to preserve the country. We are in opposition. We have been victims of violence for years. Why would we do it? That's where we are. And this is why I'm just putting it to you for you to realize the complexity. Of thank, thank you, Prof. Uh, through you, Chair. What, what would they say? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are a responsible couple. Yes. United by our leadership. United by our principles. United by our history. I listened to a, a lot of what was said yesterday. I think 90% of it, if, if I were a commissioner, but I don't hope I won't be one. Only 10% was relevant yes. to, 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 to this, according to me. I may be doing the same thing, but I, I, I would never countenance a situation where as government you order the shooting of innocent people. Never. But someone thought this would be a strategy. for them to convince the world. 
<clears throat> Just like the issue of sanctions. You call for the suffering of, of your people for you to be in power. Yes. I don't want to go into history. <laughs> I, I just want to be relevant to what uh, this honorable commission has called me. <laughs> there are a lot of you don't win <coughs> popularity by um, stage managing issues. We can give you all the history, all the background. But at the end, end of it, it will be the people of Zimbabwe to decide on how they want to manage themselves, with of course your assistance. I, I'm just emotional about it because uh, innocent lives were lost. Yes. If there was never that demonstration, we wouldn't, wouldn't be sitting here. But the demonstration was created, planned, mm. to do exactly what we are now, the, the, the outcome of which is what we are talking about now. Yes, yes, yes. We are not foolish. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. You see, we are not foolish. We, 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 we respect the sanctity of uh, humanity. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mbubu. The commission was informed by the officer leading investigations into uh, the criminal activities that unfolded on the fateful day of the 1st of August. And as a commission, we referred two letters to the investigators. Uh, two matters that in our book <coughs> ought to have been investigated long before the commission was established. And we, we don't know what to do because uh, we were then informed that 41 offenders which had been apprehended and appeared in court. This leaves us with a, a difficulty because we put the charges and all of that. They don't actually help us as a commission. We would have loved to have sight of the police information with regards to precisely where each one of the fatalities happened uh, because of the six there are two that were actually dumped uh, one at uh, Paranyako uh, and, and the other at uh, uh, the name that tortures me Pismas at Pismas now <coughs> just to give you a sense of why we have these uh, concerns. A police officer uh, who is on uh, <coughs> duty as paramount on the mortuary side was called in when a group of people dumped a body and they came in a vehicle that had bullet holes, including from the account of the police officer. The radiator was also uh, causing the engine oil because it was uh, uh, short. And there was a lady passenger inside that bed with injuries still bleeding. But this police officer could not give us the registration number of the vehicle. Uh, Instead, he told us about how these people were traumatized and they were crying and so on. 
I, I just find that uh, very difficult to fathom given the gravity of the situation. I, I, I thought I should share this with you so that uh, uh, perhaps you could, from your good offices, uh, nudge them into action. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. President, Commissioner, Mokyanti. I said earlier on when, when specific points were raised regarding what transpired on the ground that uh, those are operational issues. But again, just imagine a situation where a professional soldier or professional soldiers spray bullets into a vehicle. And uh, suddenly that vehicle is take is, is driven away. to dump the body at the hospital. And some policeman comes I'm, ju I'm just thinking aloud, but uh, I think um, the government will deal with the recommendations of the commission without Fear or favor. Yes. That's why this is this is a public commission, and evidence is being given, and that will be taken. In Zimbabwe, once you murder, you get arrested. Mm -hmm. Not only murder, if you assault previous bodily harm, you get arrested. Yes. You you even if you run away from Zimbabwe, you get we arrest you. Whenever you decide to come to, to Zimbabwe, because you are a criminal. So I can assure Your Excellency that, uh, and I'm speaking on authority as a mayor, as a Secretary General of Zanubia, as well as a former uh, Minister of Home Affairs, any recommendation that will be given to the government, action will be taken. That I can assure. You. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. We, we have no further questions, but thank you for coming and thank you very, very much also for sharing the podium with us. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Linda Tsungirai Masarira, do you swear that the evidence which you shall lead before this commission of inquiry shall be the truth, the truth only? If you do so swear, raise your right hand and say, so help me God. So help me God. Fourth administered, you can take a seat. Thank you. Um, Mr. Sarira, you've, you've asked to 
you will give evidence before this commission. Yes. Um, I'd like you to give your evidence, your evidence, cognizant of the fact that uh, the commission has said a lot of evidence, and where you feel some evidence has been given uh, before you may move to other aspects that Noted. we have said. Noted. And if you could identify yourself. My name is Linda Tungenaima Samila. I am the city spokesperson. Go ahead and uh, tell the commissioners what it is that you want to share with the commissioners. Okay. Um, firstly, I think um, what made me decide to come to the commission to share what happened to me on the 1st of August. My presentation is going to be very brief because there are a whole lot of other things that have been said before by other witnesses. And I would also want to observe a moment of silence for those who lost their lives prematurely by the alleged delay of um, announcements of results of the 2018 National General Harmonized Elections. May their souls rest in peace. Firstly, I would like to state that the demonstrations that happened on August 1 were not just a coincidence. These were demonstrations that were influenced by the various political leaders who were contesting during the 2018 elections. Most incitement statements were heard by ordinary Zimbabweans at rallies and press conferences. It is important to note that a leader is a person who inspires and influences followers either positively or negatively. Peace is inspiration, violence is inspiration. Our words as leaders are believed by our followers who we'll rally behind our vision and the methods we use to achieve our goals. So the violent utterances influence the people to demonstrate. Mm. Who spoke inciting words is not even in need of investigations. Yes. Mm -hmm. The public domain is awash with video footages and other live recordings of treasonous and anarchistic statements by political leaders in Zimbabwe. Thank you, my sister. Dr. Tokozani <laughs> Kube and Douglas Monzora were nearly bent in a hut in uh, February at uh, the late Dr. Morgan Richard Changira's mm -hmm. funeral. Yes. Yes. And I would like to categorically state that I, Linda Tsungirai Masarira, was a victim of the MDC Alliance supporters who protested violently on 1 August 2018. Mm -hmm. sure. Contrary to Advocate Nelson Chamisa's view that the protesters were not MDC supporters at the Rainbow Towers Gate, on 1 August I was a victim of the supporters' violence. Mm -hmm. As the car I was driving was targeted, a silver Nissan X-Train, number plate AEP 7333, was surrounded by violent protesters who were chanting Mutengesi, Mutengesi, Wure, before they broke into song Mutengesa Uone Mashura. Mm, mm. The ZRP at the gate at Rainbow Towers. So they were chanting, saying, sell out, sell out, prostitute. If you are to sell, then if you are to sell out, we will show you. The way forward, what to Thank you. So, after that, the police had to come to intervene as they were being violent and were banging the car. And I actually have uh, pictures that were captured by, um, by the police, which unfortunately I didn't get time to print because I was coming from Blawayo. But if the secretariat wants it, I can rush to the, to the business center and print those pictures. Mm. MDC Alliance is a party full of highly intolerant people mm. <laughs> who, think, yes, 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 yes. Yes. who think they are the alpha and omega of Zimbabwe politics. Mm. Preach, my sister. The mm. eloquence of their leaders in preaching peace is not actually put into practice. Mm. It is hypocritical. Yes. It is fortunate, or should I say unfortunate, that we live in an era where the name of God is taken in vain and there is no instant justice. Mm -hmm. People dare to lie under oath professionally misrepresenting themselves, but the truth cannot be hidden yes. because only the truth will set them up. Yes. Yes. I was assisted by the police who came with their baton sticks and removed the violent crowd that had surrounded the car and redirected me to use the other gate as the protesters were shouting which is a statement that is synonymous. We want to murder her, she does not back. <laughs> Which is a statement that is synonymous with the MDC Alliance supporters on social media. Mm -hmm. yes. I was going to Zek Command Center when I met the agri crowd of the protesters 
who belonged to the MTC alliance. You could tell that these people were high on something. Their behavior was like that of trained rebels. Mm -hmm. These people were not only verbally abusive and misogynistic as they are accustomed to do, but were prepared to do physical assault on my car and my body. Mm -hmm. yes. Honorable Chairperson, it would be naive for anyone to think that the MDC does not have radical and militant youths mm. who are trained under the civic society banner, mm. which are stakeholders of the MDC. Mm. Yes. I can speak with confidence and evidence that there are two groups who were trained to lead protests, though it said they were trained to uprise in a non-violent manner, which is contrary to the actions that prevailed on the 1st of August. Mm. Mm. The MDC believes the government can be persuaded to push for a government of national unity mm. or to accede to certain demands from the illegal demonstrations that they did mm. coupled to the ongoing demonstrations demonization of zimbabwe mm. we have an opposition that believes in hate speech mm. and insults mm. terrorizing women mm. yes. and the suffering masses yes. to who protest votes yes. honorable chair it is true that there was a violation of human rights by the ruling parties and peers as many witnesses testified here. But observer missions, all of them noted a significant drop in violence cases during the pre-election period. Mm. And the period leading from 2013 to 2018. Mm. One would expect to see the MDC Alliance taking a lead role in advocating for the removal of the now irrelevant sanctions. Mm. But we hear statements from the Alliance supporters denying the existence of sanctions and surprisingly in conflict campaigning for the maintenance of sanctions despite the popularity due to goodwill of Morgan Changirai, which unfortunately could not be enough or jealously guarded to give victory to the MDC. The MDC Alliance believes protests and demos, hate speech and insults, and violence plus the pain from sanctions can give them a protest vote. I have been threatened with abductions and death by members of the MDC Alliance Evidence is all over social media, and I have several screenshots which I want to go with to the police to report Honorable Chair. After I threatened to expose some activists who were trained at workshops to do what is called a dilemma action to push the government to concede to their demands. Mm. These trainings were done in Cape Town and Livingstone, mm. so that they would be able to radically defend their vote through whatever means necessary and to make Zimbabwe ungovernable. Mm -hmm. I strongly believe and most earnestly I assess that the reckless utterances by the MDC Alliance leader Nelson Chamisa influenced his supporters to protest against the vote they speculated was being tempered with and that they will continue the violent culture if not stopped. Mm. It, it's just unfortunate that social media evidence may not be admissible in a court of law. Since one can write pseudon pseudonymously or assume a different character, but Honorable President Montland and esteemed commissioners, a visit to my Facebook timeline or Twitter would, would vindicate my statement on how toxic and inciting, slanderous and abusive the MDC supporters and members are. In conclusion, the nation will only move forward when both ZANU-PF and MDC Alliance put Zimbabwe first and stop using violence as a conflict resolution. Mm. Zimbabwe needs humble leaders mm. who are concerned about the sustainable human development and revival of our economy. Honorable Chair, my nation is broken, and only the truth will set Zimbabwe free, I repeat. Mm. Followed by healing and reconciliation. I pray that the families who lost their loved ones in 1 August 2018 will find closure, and that whoever killed those innocent souls faces the full wrath of the law. Mm. Going forward, the state must desist from using maximum force on unarmed civilians. If the culture of violence is not put to an end, it is bound to repeat as the alliance is still demonizing the institutions of intelligence, mm. Z therapy, mm. and political activists who are not under their big tent banner. Yes. We yes. have to look beyond political curtains and focus on peace and nation building. We have more that unites us than what divides us. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Wes. Linda. Linda. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very, very much, Linda, for the narrative. Uh, what, what I want clarification of is where exactly you were when the chanting of slogans, sell out, prostitute, were done. I was at the gate at Rainbow Towers. When I got to Rainbow Towers, 
the gate was already closed and it was barricaded by the policemen. There was a grouping of angry MDC supporters, mm -hmm. some were in their regalia, and some faces that I could identify because there was one Jablani Tunzi mm -hmm. who was also there yes. and within the structures and the yes. current councillor for the MDC alliance. Yes, yes. yes. thank you. Yes. The MDC alliance leaders yes. denied mm. that the rioters were their members. What is your comment since we have started to give us names of those that you could say are in the ranks? Are they in the ranks of NDC uh, Alliance or something? Chabulani Tunes is a current ward councillor for the MDC Alliance. Mm, yes, and yes. I saw him leading the protest at the gate of the Rainbow Towers. Mm. Yes. You also spoke of trainings that you say were yes. done in Cape Town. When, when were these trainings done? Unfortunately, by the time I got here, I couldn't have recall the exact dates. But one of the piece, one of the persons who was trained, actually has the dates and was supposed to email me the, the email that she received because she actually went through the training and was not subscribing to the agenda that was there, the training in Livingston. Was it this year? This year. I think the first one was in May and the other one in, in July. What was the nature of the training? Was it just a youth training for... It was actually um, labeled a training for non-violent protests and preparing for young people to be able to defend their votes anyhow. And from what I heard, it was supposed to actually ensure that they go through non-violent protests. But my colleague, the one who's supposed to send me the information, which I will not name right now because I fear for your victimization, is actually on the PR list of the MDC Alliance. She did not subscribe to the way they were being told that they should do whatever necessary to ensure that they defend their foot, mm. since they failed to do that in 2008. Yes. Are you able to tell us what exactly it is that they were saying they should do whatever is possible? What any form of protest. Any form of protest. It was more of a workshop-like setup where they were being told that you have to protest and defend your vote. At what time were you at uh, HIC, HICC? It was around um, 1, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. if I'm not wrong, because I was rushing to the next pronouncement of results, which are supposed to happen at 2 p.m. Did you see the presence of any police officers or the army? I saw police officers. What were they doing? They were standing in front of, inside the gate with their shields, and the gate was closed because they had to redirect me to use another gate. And only a few were outside who were in civilian. They're the ones who managed to, to, to remove the crowd that was surrounding my car and redirect me to use the other gate. How big was the crowd? I think there were about 40, 50. I Linda, how do you feel as a woman in Zimbabwe um, in terms of your experience you shall demonstrate it? Honestly, I, I've got a very thick skin. I no longer feel anything because I've gotten used to the violence and the vitriol that is built against my person. But what I actually feel sorry for the um, other women who are actually victims of these protests, which they were not even part of. We are not safe in this country. We are not safe. So long you're speaking anything that is against the alliance, we are not, we are not safe. They yes. actually speak mm. against <laughs> the democratic yes. principles that That's they speak true. of. Yes. Mm. Everyone has got a right to support a political party of their choice. Yes. Mm. And yes. no one should judge me for not supporting them. Yes. I do not support them because they are violent, they are misogynistic, yes. and yes. they do not practice inter-party democracy themselves. Mm. Yes. So when we want to speak of democracy, let's practice the democracy that we preach of. Yes. And let every woman participate in politics as a political party of their choice. Mm. Mm. We are also going to be looking at recommendations in terms of, I mean, the issue we are talking about here is about gender-based violence um, and, you know, elections and, and women uh, in, in the suppression of their rights and so forth. What would be your recommendations going forward? in order to avoid this situation where women are beaten, where women are threatened, 
so I think um, we need punitive measures on bullies, not just physical bullies, including the cyber bullies. Yes. We also need um, the Gender Commission to step up and ensure that women, particularly in politics, are protected from violence, are protected from threats. Mm. Because failure to do that, we will find that a lot of women are going to shy away from participating in politics. Because the only thing they've ever known is when you're a woman in Zimbabwe and you want to participate in politics, you are called all sorts of names. And you face a lot of violence, even in our internal party democracies. So what is critically important is to have a gender a narrative that is strict. We need strict measures on how to deal with perpetrators of gender-based violence, especially in our political parties, in our governance structures, in the parliament, senate, and everywhere else. Because so long we do not have punitive measures to deal with the violence against women, women will always be at the receiving end of violence. Mm. Uh, I'm sure you're aware that the issue of women and democracy is an issue that I'm passionate about. And I would want to ask you, uh, whether you think that women who are at the upper echelons of power have a role to play in coming up with a solution? Yes, women have got a very big role to play, especially those who are in powerful positions. One of the tragedies that we have always had over the years is when women get into those high positions, they forget that there's a next generation of women that is coming mm, up yes, who need yes. protection, who need mentorship. Mm. And we have a gender act in Zimbabwe, which is not implemented. We've got a very good gender act. So we need the women, the, the women affairs ministry to start taking women's issues seriously. We also need our police to stop violating women whether it's in parliament, whether it's the vendors in the streets and everything else. We should not uh, be blind to the fact that our police violate women on a, day, on, on a daily basis in different spaces. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, Linda, thank you very much for coming for uh, your testimony. Uh, there are no further questions for you. The commissioners, uh, and please do favor us with uh, whatever uh, evidence that you believe uh, will help the commission arrive at the correct conclusions uh, by forwarding it to the secretary. I will do so. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mr. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank you.